welcome back to Christy Craft World. I get a lot of recommended videos. I watch partial videos and I end up putting these things into my watch later playlist and I never go back to it. And as you know, I am on a mission to learn new stitches and techniques. And I decided to work up this hat. It is based off of a video. Um, I want to say her name is Seren, I think, but I will put it in the description. So I've worked a front post, back post hat before. Let me just, I have it right here. And this, this one is a pattern of off of your inspiration. I did this a few years ago, like before I stopped crocheting. So as you can see, the crown is just regular stitches and then down here you get that front post back post and this is probably the warmest hat that I've ever crocheted but with this hat the crown is very different and so when I saw this video I was like how is she increasing on a front post back post hat from the crown and it looks as if it is uh, front post, back post. Well, I worked it up. It's not uh, front post, back post in this area. But, um, like, this is front post, but this is, like, stitches. Just worked into stitches here in this area here. And so I just thought that looked so neat. It looked so clean. Um, this hat was made to be not slouchy. But if I was to make it again... I probably would make it a little slouchy and so in the process of me doing this hat I actually looked up how to do increasing around it's so weird like I've been following videos and I've been following patterns and I never just thought to look up how it actually works and I did and I kind of caught on by doing so many patterns and stuff but I just never like had it solid in my head of how it works and I always question like well how do you get the crown part like how do you get that first row and so what I found is that depending on your stitch a single half double and double it if if it's a single you can do eight to, no you can do six to eight stitches if it's half half double, you can do 8 to 10. And if it's double, you can do 10 to 13. So from there, that second row is going to be 2 in every stitch. And then from there, it just goes 2 plus 1, then 2 plus 2. So it's like 2 in, two in the first stitch. And then you put one in the next. And then it'd be two, one, two, one. And then when you go to your third is two, two. So two in the first and then one in the next and one in the next. And then two. And then two, right? It's kind of hard to explain like saying it out. But if you've ever done patterns, you know that you do two then one then two then one then you do two then two and two and two it's it's kind of weird it's hard to explain but anyways not only did i learn a technique with this hat i also learned how to how actually increasing um or starting a hat works because i finally looked it up which i never uh did but also, I also decided to, if you can remember this yarn, I decided to work my first shawl. It fell on the floor. Let me pick it up. But I decided to work my first shawl. Oh, and it's coming undone. But I wanted it to be light. Didn't want it to feel like a... A blanket or anything so I decided to try this yarn here and this is just gonna be something I pick up here and there whenever um, I'm not doing anything else but it's so weird because my mind was playing tricks on me whenever 
I was looking at this shawl because for some reason I thought that this was put together and so either I thought that this was like two separate pieces or I was thinking that a decrease had to happen so in the pattern it just drops you off at like the fourth row and on the video that I watched it dropped off at the fourth row, row too and I was kind of like well where is the decrease gonna happen like how do you do the decrease but there is no decrease I don't know if it's how I was holding it maybe I was holding it like this or something and looking at it kind of like this and thinking that it was going to be like big like this going all the way because I was holding it like this and not holding it like this so like this would be the part that's <laughs> around the neck I don't know I don't know what it was but I undid it I redid it and then I was like you know let me just work the whole thing out and then it started looking like a shawl and I was like oh wow wow that's all I could say it's like wow really but yeah this is just gonna be one of those things that I pick up and work on uh, I don't even think I'm trying to rush to get finished with but uh, I think that's about it I'm probably gonna continue with um, the new stitches thing I found a couple of more books that has a lot of, of different stitches in it that's really cute that I want to um, learn and just work up and see how it actually comes out and I think I also want to learn how to do a I think it's a gaffkin so I want to try to play around with those start off easy um, I also want to find the software that actually makes it I think that's you know if I don't have the patience to actually do the graphkin I could um, figure out how to do the patterns and you know <laughs> you know how that goes but I think that is it for this video and I will catch you on the next one.